Here's the app called Picture Mushroom Fungi Finder. So this is the app which can help you out to identify mushrooms. You probably heard a lot about plant identifier apps where you just point your phone on the plant and then it will tell you which, which flower is that. Then there are bug identifier, birds identifier, anything, bugs identifiers. Um, yeah, they're basically all included in this kit. But this is something interesting. I haven't seen it before where you can identify mushrooms. I like, uh, you need to know this app is just for fun. You shouldn't take it completely seriously. Uh, you know, you like, if especially uh, like in, with the mushrooms, uh, just use this app to have fun and take pictures. But never, never rely on this app, you know, if you want to, you know, uh, cook a mushroom or something like that. Or if you're in the forest and it's like, hey, I don't know if this mushroom is, uh, uh, yeah, if uh, yeah, you can eat it or something like that or not. And then I will just identify it with this app. This app is never 100%, uh, you know, correct. So that's why you should be super careful. Again, it's just for fun. Um, this is a new AI technology and yeah, but it's still not 100%. So yeah, so you can see like easy mushrooms to grow at home, deadly mushrooms, common yard mushrooms. Uh, so here you can just go and uh, see like common mushrooms here in the yard. And then if you want to scan, you can just tap scan snap tips too close too far multi-species and then you can just give access uh, and then just uh, start scanning uh, like that uh, so also you can see like some deadly uh, mushroom like you know uh, ones which you should should avoid in the forest for example Um, then common yard mushroom, confusing mushroom species. Uh, so yeah, uh, some of them kind of look. And as you can see here, there is attention again, content feedback cannot be used as any basis for eating or touching any mushroom. Some of them can be very poisonous and all of that. That's why uh, there aren't that many fungus identifier apps actually because you know if you just identify uh, plants or you know birds uh, that's just bird watching but uh, just be careful with this app and then you just have some field guides then you have your account and all of that if you want to set up offline mode uh, offline resource you can upgrade $30 per year so there you have it